Hello there. So as normal, I'm going to be talking and I'm going to be drawing digitally instead of analog or whatever you like to call it, traditional art. Um, I was going to do traditional art for this video as like a complete polar opposite kind of rejection of the subject I'm going to be talking about. But uh, unfortunately, if I'm going to make a time lapse of my art, um, drawing traditionally takes up like a hundred times more space on my computer than digital. So I'm going to be talking about AI art in this video, but I'm not going to be making any AI art for reasons that I'll tell you later. I've been meaning to make a video about AI art for ages now, for eons, and it's taken a while for my opinions about it to become stable enough for even for me to talk about it coherently. And the technology advances so fast. I mean, why make a video which would be outdated by the time I get to post it? So I'm not going to talk about it from a technical standpoint, or well, not much anyway. I'm going to talk about my art philosophy, I guess, and if AI art is compatible with it, or if it's compatible with yours. Now I have a definition of art, even though art doesn't really require a definition, because we seem to be able to recognise it intrinsically. But my definition goes something like, art is something made by someone that does nothing but express something. Now, is AI art art at all? So let me now guide you through my line of reasoning and how I came to the conclusion that AI art doesn't even qualify as art. Of course, there's a vast spectrum of AI art generation technologies. Some of them might qualify. Okay, let me illustrate this. Let's say that you want to make 2D art but you have no skill in drawing or image creation of any kind. So you approach a person who is extremely skilled, a real master painter, and you ask them to draw a dog for you. So they finish the piece, you pay them, you take it off the easel and um, you say, I made this, I'm an artist. Do you agree with that? Is that, are you an artist? Well, what if you ask them to paint a picture of a dog riding the head of a cyborg giraffe. Are you an artist then? Well, what if you told them to draw a dog riding the head of a cyborg giraffe while gunning down parasitic mosquito meerkats? Well, your input to that last painting is quite sizable. The painter probably wouldn't have created such an image, you know, unless you told him to, but um, I think, still, the majority of people would think that you're not the actual artist. And why is that? Probably for a number of reasons. One of them being is that the image was created by a human being who deserves credit for their hard work. But if you remove the human being out of the picture and replace it with an AI, people can suddenly call themselves an artist because the AI doesn't demand any credit. Even though the back end of the AI image generator, all that training data, was made by hardworking human beings who deserve the credit that you're taking if you're making AI art. Because this AI art generation is just a complicated algorithmic digestive tract that consumes pre-existing images and then deposits combinations of them according to the will of the so-called artist behind the keyboard. My second reason has nothing to do with the origin of the original source material though. So for a moment, let's forget that the AI is trained with imagery from human artists. Let's just say it's, it's just a tool that makes life easier. That's just a progression of technology. You know, we started with a burnt stick, and then we moved on to a pencil, a pen, a dip pen, a fountain pen, felt tip pen, a digital drawing tablet, etc., etc. You now we're always getting better technology for making our art easier. Why should this be considered any different? And for a time I did think like this. But then I realised there's a massive problem with the amount of information that's being inputted versus the output. The ratio of input to output can be and often is just far too low for the person who gave the input to call themselves an artist of the output. So when I'm drawing traditionally, the ratio of input to output, while not something that can easily be measured, is probably quite high. Uh, the complexity of the art is less complex than all the movements I've made over the paper to create it. You make tens of thousands of tiny little micro decisions, you know, constantly while drawing. Also, when drawing digitally, the ratio is still probably quite high. 
It's a bit more of an efficient process, but I'm quite sure I'm inputting more information into the computer while I'm sketching, pressing buttons and making mistakes than what's found in the final image. I'm still making tons of tiny little decisions to make the final image. But this AI art generation, completely different. The Dali 2, famous example, which is now horribly outdated, uh, of AI art generation capabilities. They give an example of the input being an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style. So if you were to take that line of text and just stick it in an ASCII text file, that would come to 53 bytes of information. And then the image that it outputs is an image by 1024 by 1024, and the JPEG, I think, comes to 135 kilobytes. So that's an input to output ratio of 1 to 2608. And I wouldn't even call that an extreme example. The reason why I didn't pick a high resolution image is because some could use the argument that it's the same when drawing digitally, you can just increase the resolution of the output until you match that ratio. Not that there would be any more perceivable detail in the image though. And another reason why I picked a low resolution image is because I want the data to represent the complexity of the concepts that are contained in it. And I think a low resolution JPEG might get pretty close to that. Now, I don't really have some bare minimum input to output ratio that you need to pass so you can become an artist in my mind. It's possible that if you really put tons of effort into the prompt, uh, maybe a more interactive one, so you could continue to modify the image as you went along, I'd probably consider you an artist of that image. A joint one, at least. But can you call yourself the artist when clearly you didn't have enough input to the image to honestly say that you made it? So I've come to the conclusion that AI-generated art isn't really art at all, because it violates an important part of my definition of art, it being made by someone. The prompt is made by someone, but the output is not. Well, if you ignore the fact that the training data for the AI comes from hardworking human beings anyway. Now, while I've got great momentum on this anti-AI art tirade, I might as well continue as to go so far to say that this application for AI is just bad for humanity in general. I don't see why we need it. I don't see how it's going to make humanity any better. Probably only worse. Will we at least get better art with AI assistance? I think not. Think about how many movies are released every year. I can't even count them, but um, a lot of big multi-million dollar movies. Think about how many people it takes to make some of these movies. How many hundreds of minds and hands the footage has to pass through until the movie gets to your eyeballs? Now, how many movies do you see that are any good? Not many. I don't think AI will make that situation any better. It'll either be used to employ less people or produce them faster. No, wait. No, d definitely both, actually. What am I saying? What about if we use the AI to also improve the script as well? Hmm. Well, that's where a successful film begins, after all. Yeah. AI from start to finish. Push out the humans and their terrible, unpredictable ideas. And the whole artistic integrity thing. What we need is some giant cross-reference data set from every successful film, also with the audience responses. Then you can just pump out that success at light speed. And then what a cheap and worthless commodity art has now become. What, what have we done now? Goodness me. Supply and demand. In capitalism's quest to make the production cheaper, we accidentally made the commodity worthless. Yeah, they'll just end up making movies um, generated directly just at your tastes. And if you're worried about being trapped on an island of your own desires, then a shared experience with like-minded people can also be generated. Just a fake review full of fake people, fake comments, you know, just so a single person can feel validated. And how much longer until Google, Amazon, or even Meta starts using the decades of information that has been collected about us, about you, to generate entertainment which is about as addictive as crack cocaine? I mean, does the human artist even have a commercial future in this coming world of instantly generated satisfaction? I think so. Believe it or not, I think I see a future there. 
probably not in the way that you would like. The best way I can illustrate it and describe it is a bear riding a bicycle in a circus. Everyone is impressed that the bear can ride a bicycle. They cheer, applaud, but does the bear race his bicycle in a competition? Does anyone use the bear and his talents for, for let's say, a delivery service? Nobody does. Because people aren't amazed at the amazing level of skill the bear has. The bear has pretty limited bike riding skills. So that's what I think the future of the human artist is. People won't appreciate what you create, so the human becomes a sole spectacle, just like the bear. They're just amazed that you can do it at all. Yes, AI will outclass us all. The Industrial Revolution removes some labour out of our lives, and the AI Revolution will remove some thought out of our lives. Welcome to Industrial Thought, I guess. To completely saturate the human consciousness in real time, and for it not to be fooled, to design at the speed of, of the whims of our emotions, shortcutting years of thought in an instant. Do anything, make anything, be anything. Dreams quickly shoved out into reality, but probably with little wisdom behind them. The intentions that will guide this vast intelligence will be the basic impulses of a meat brain that was tuned to survive in a world that it had destroyed long ago. I can see a terrible mismatch between uh, intelligence and self-control. Or maybe wisdom is the right word. Like giving a five-year-old a truck to drive. He might take off and go somewhere before he realises that it's a bad idea. For example, I was drawing this comic you saw in the beginning of the video. Uh, it took me ages. Uh, a few days passed while I was occasionally working on it. And it took me that long to realise that it really wasn't that funny? Perhaps a bit tasteless? I, I, I don't know. But if I had used AI to help me generate the art, perhaps I would have thought it was fantastic by the time I finished it. I'm going to put it here now anyway due to the sunken cost fallacy. So no real difference, I guess? I just think it's a terrible idea that art should be a victim of the AI revolution. I mean, art is something that's intrinsically human. Why should it be taken away from us? I mean, why are we making machines to come for our humanity? Money, I guess. I guess we just want artificial art slaves to constantly entertain us with an amalgam of material that our ancestors left us. I mean, art doesn't need to be original to be successful. Quite the opposite, actually. Just a little bit better than the last version. Updated for current culture. AI can just continue to recycle all of the information that we've left it continuously, and you'd never get bored of it, I can guarantee it. I mean, if all media stopped being produced now, you'd never run out of things to watch. Our lives are far too short to consume all the vast amount of material out there. Like, for example, 500 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every... guess, every what? Every, every, every minute. If you were to watch YouTube for 8 hours a day, it would take you... 246 years to finish a single day of uploads. And that's without AI's help. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. But maybe just the very day AI art generators were made, I just became an old man who's unwilling to adjust to this new scary world. I just see no advantage in developing technology like this that slowly is blurring the line between creation and consumption. And when we've crossed that line... We've just removed what I thought was an integral part of the human experience. It seems that we've just worked real hard just to make ourselves redundant. Anyway, take care and uh, go out and make some real art. Maybe you could write a real nice AI prompt and just not give it to the AI. Just hang it up on a wall under a blank sheet of canvas and call it something like 100% um, organic art from the future. Well, there's an idea for you. Hmm, who would be the artist if you did that? Be me or you? Depends how much you bring to the table, I guess, I'm not sure. So many questions unanswered. Okay, bye. This was a real human being on the internet, and now I am signing out. But I'll be back one day.